Tuscaloosa, Alabama should be a lot of fun tonight because the high scoring Ole Miss Rebels are in town and the Alabama players, coaches and faithful have made this one personal because of Ole Miss's come from behind upset a year ago in Oxford. Welcome to the SEC on ESPN. And here we go. Stewart. Makes a cut, loses the ball. Rebels fall on it. And Alabama, which had a disastrous special teams turnover a year ago in Oxford. They need nine to move the chains. Kelly in the pocket, fires near side, incomplete for Evan Ingram, who saw Eddie Jackson. Just the second field goal attempt of the season for Gary Wunderlich. They've been scoring touchdowns, not field goals, and Alabama. A lot of why you're seeing Bateman now get his opportunity. Bateman has it, flips it short to O.J. Howard. The tight end gets a block on the edge and has room down the sidelines. The block by Robert Foster, the receiver sprung it. Need a yard on third down, give it to Henry again. That is not his strength. Sidestepping in the hole, and he's dropped for a loss. Quick penetration by Woodrow Hamilton, the nose tackle. Bateman looked left immediately. Completion, but not a first down. Robert Foster caught it, was hit a yard short. Kendarius Webster. And Webster's play gives Kelly the ball in a second possession, and he fires it into traffic. Evan Ingram makes a catch in tied territory. As physical as he's ever been, just a lot quicker. Another pass batted down, something that Alabama does a great job of. Reggie Ragland. Bateman looks right, fires complete. Howard hit again and stopped short of a first down. Tackler on the defense. He's a senior. Oh. He's only 5'9", and now the Rebels come across and they gifted the tie to first down. Offside. Defense. The guy that is the most dangerous with the ball in his hands. He's got it in his hands again. And he's got the corner. Slips a tackle. First down across the 30, and here come a couple of flags. So they hit him late over there but breaks through that double team and gets the penetration. Top five prospect in the next draft. Bateman fires downfield. Catch made far side by Ardarius Stewart. Rebels don't pressure, but they get near Bateman with only three. They dump it off short to Henry, but he's smothered. The sophomore punter trying to break out of a little bit of a slump. Boots it high. Bounces and will be downed. Very near the goal line at the two yard line. Pressure on this offensive line. Big advantage for Bama. This is Walton again. Trying to get the edge. A quick burst. And you can see you see a lot of this chess match all night. They snap it at two. Kelly pressured. Escapes. Gets a first down. And you can see the skill set. Bama's personnel group not sure who should be in the game and whether they're lined up in the right spot. Ole Miss tries the middle on third down. And Reggie Ragland says, uh uh. Second and eight. Henry again. Gets rolling. This is the kind of run. Rebels crowd the line. Do bring pressure. It's picked up and Bateman fires complete. Foster a leaping catch. And rush only three. Bateman has time. Delivers a strike for a first down. Quarterback Bateman and his receiver. First bulletin. and goal. Henry hit immediately, falls forward for a half yard. Two tight end look for the tide. Ridley in motion, gets it and gets dropped for a loss. Kim Dietschy showing that explosive first step. Bateman trying to get him lined up. The play clock's at four. Again, a three-man rush. Lots of time. Delivers a strike. Stewart makes the catch, but again, doesn't get. And Griffith knocks it through. Now they need 10 on third down. The tie bring pressure. Kelly stands in, fires along the sideline, but Evan Ingram. To get some something going on first and 10. Here comes some pressure. Bateman stands in, delivers downfield, and it's intercepted. Nobody in the area but Trey Elston. And look out, he's very dangerous with the ball in his hands. Elston into Alabama territory and dances out of the 25. Already his third pick this season. The first two he took back. They'll try it again. This is Wilkins getting in the edge, and he gets a crease and gets a first and goal. Kimdichie has it. Muscles toward the goal line. Does not get there as the Alabama big bodies.
And they'll go for it on fourth down. Liggins, handoff on the edge and just waltzing into the end zone is Jordan Wilkins. So they showed power, but then got to the edge. And the Rebels take the lead, cashing in the interception. It's why Saban says they lost to Oxford last year. They put that loss to Ole Miss on their own mistakes, and it's happening again tonight. This is Drake. He can change the game with a play. A good coverage by the Rebels. They knock him down short. Of the 20, the ball comes out again. Wait a minute. Turnover. Again, a fumble on the kickoff. It'll be Ole Miss ball, not a touchdown, but Carlos Davis recovered it. And a special teams disaster for Alabama again. The ruling on the field is a fumble recovered by Ole Miss. Three receivers to the left. Kelly with the keeper. Tries to get to the edge. Lowers the shoulder, goes airborne, and dives in for a touchdown. Chris, I, I can't help but think about everything that Chad Kelly has been through in his life. And Coker needs 11 on third down. Fires a strike. Mullaney makes the catch. It is a first down. Coker delivers. First down strike. Has not gotten loose tonight yet for a big play. Coker, a screen to Henry. Has blockers. And gets ahead of steam and dives down inside the 25. It's another first down for Alabama. Minus Foster to the tide have another third and long conversion. They are three for three on this drive on third down. They need 10. Right away, Coker has to sidestep pressure. Chased. Stays alive. Weaving. And gets a first down and goal. That might be the run of his life. Coker looking far side. Flips it to Mullaney who leaps and hurdles for a touchdown. You need about a foot. This is where you hate these offenses where you can't get under center. It's almost six. Eight inches. Pick up the first down. High snap. Kelly has to collect it. Makes a desperation heave into traffic. Treadwell off his hands and into the hands of Adebayo. A crazy carom and a touchdown for the Rebels. Oh, my goodness. Kelly just threw it up. Treadwell had a play on it. And Adebayo was just there in the perfect position. 66 yards. One of those wacky plays, and at the end of the year, you're going to look back at it. Throw it up to, in a prayer, go off a receiver's hand, bounce it off of the safety. Look at this. Look at the awareness. You know, it looks like they're going to run the, run the football. Here comes Reuben Foster. He just heaves it into the air, and he's counting on his guy Treadwell to go up and make a play. Now, Treadwell goes up, but this ball bounces off the defender Fitzpatrick's helmet, 29. Goes right off of his helmet, it right into the air. So the tie to the 25, again down by 14. Play action for Coker, who delivers a strike. Ridley in space, the talented true freshman out near midfield, and the tie trying to answer quickly. Again, that was the last time they've even been down 14 at home. Coker, deep drop, chased by Kimdichie. Gets away. Coker, the runner all of a sudden. Where has this been? First down inside the 35. Coker fires looking for Mullaney, who was absolutely blanketed. And they bring it. And Coker still has time. Delivers in traffic incomplete. Alabama pointing for a flag as Mike Hilton was in coverage, but he just wags that finger and says, no. Nope. Called it a fumble. It's third and nine here. Third and eight. He went and collected it. Now Kelly on third down to Treadwell. Over the shoulder grab in Alabama territory. Size, length, and blocking strength in the perimeter as well in this offense. Got to hurry. Kelly over the middle. Wide open. Liggins running free. And he's another big guy, 6'3". Kelly pressured again. Just lobs it into the end zone. Six. The quarterback's got to be able to account for that last guy and get rid of the football as quickly as he can. So Wonderlich, good from 32 earlier and good from 34 right there. This has had six Family tackles guy, behind the line. <laughs> Coker delivers in traffic. Again, they're targeting Mullaney with. This team came in here expecting to win. 
Walton gets a crease. Almost busted a huge run. But Ole Miss would come in and, and do this. Completion on the far side and breaking free is core. Finally shoved out by Eddie Jackson, but another. No, yeah. On second down, Kelly fires near side. Treadwell spins free. Not just downfield in this offense, but also horizontally sideline to sideline. They barely got the play off. It was third and two. Now there's a whistle. Delay game. Yeah. Number 10. Offense. Five yard penalty. The right slot. And they fire near side behind core incomplete. Clearly made some mistakes on that drive at the end of that drive. Wonderlick who remains perfect in his career inside that he can catch it and make a move and, and get upfield really could be that guy. Here's Henry stiff arm on the edge Derrick Henry rumbling free in the secondary a big game down inside the 25. He's out and Drake is in the game. Rebels crowd the line bring pressure but it's a completion to Stewart who's knocked down inside. They give it to him. He bounces it and has a first and goal at the five will become a factor in the fourth quarter. Coker keeps it and picks his way to the end zone for a touchdown. Coker the runner making an impact tonight Not sitting silently on their feet making life tough for Kelly who's trapped and dropped the Sean hand got him and in the final minute of the quarter tie bring pressure again Kelly slam for a loss back to back sacks after none all night that was big Jonathan Allen we're going to find out here in this fourth quarter. Coker, the throw to Henry. Gets a block on the edge from Howard and muscles down inside the 30, and the Bama offense is rolling now. Very sure handed. Give it to him again. Slips the tackle. Still powers forward down inside the 20. Second and a yard. Henry again. Hammers forward. Bounces off tacklers and dives down for a first down near the 10. Oker on the move, fires short, caught, Stewart, touchdown, walk it in. And second and one, Kelly keeps it, throws it, and a completion. By the corners running free. And a touchdown for Ole Miss. Kelly went right to the line of scrimmage, stopped and delivered. It's a page out of that Auburn playbook. A flag is down, so we'll have to see if he crossed the line. It was very close. They're going to, at the very least, take another look at it. It's thrown right at the line of scrimmage. He's okay. Illegal forward pass, number 10. Offense. Quarterback is beyond the line of scrimmage. Take it off the board for now, Dave Kataya. Higher body has to be across. Now, right Ooh, now, you look wow, at that, that foot. I'll foot. tell you what, Dave. I'm not sure he's across. Dave, they need I, to look at this. Dave, that first look, the first look was a good one. Watch this now. Is there any Wait, part of his body? It's the, it's the black line we're looking at. Watch that back step. That it, back foot still it, in the back. His entire leg is behind. I agree. After review, it has been determined that the quarterback was not beyond the line of scrimmage. Therefore, we have a touchdown. I think he so the correct call made that's Ben Oldham in the replay booth. Kandichi goes out to the edge. He could be a receiver. He could be a blocker. This will be interesting. Bunch formation. Buchanan looks that way. Kandichi just dropped it. He was a little eager there and the tie were all over it anyway. So. Tide need five on third down but it's intercepted. Coker threw it right into traffic and C.J. Johnson the senior captain with the turnover. They fake it to Wilkins. Kelly throws for the end zone. Trumbull jump ball touchdown. He beat Cyrus Jones, and that might be the kill shot for the Remember Rebels. Remember how we talked about he's saving some things? There's no doubt he did this last year. Coker fires sidelines. Looping catch made by Stewart. A lot of folks like them. <laughs> yeah, quite a few. Coker 
on fourth down. Steps up and delivers to Mullaney right at the marker. It doesn't start. Number 11. It's been all over the field here. So on third and long, Coker delivers over the middle. A strike to Howard who pinballs off defenders and gets down inside the five. Now he's lined up to the right of Coker. Henry keeps it and cuts it back for a touchdown. So Alabama was 636 to play. And we'll go for two to try to cut the lead. Coker just rolls the pocket and delivers high. I was looking for Ridley, but here he is Stewart. The receiver is at the top of that formation. They get a big hop, batted in the air. Still rolling around out there, and the tide fall on it. Tony Brown or Cam Sims collected it. it. Wasn't ruled that way, and now the tide at the 30-yard line against the tire defense. But pressuring the quarterback immediately, Denzel Kimdich or Robert Kimdich again making life miserable for Coker. Through cramps here in the second half, it comes up with a big play. Poker on second and long gets some of it back to Ridley. Beachy at the right defensive end spot. Well blocked that time, and Mullaney makes a first down catch at the 15. Henry again. Down to the two. Poker this time rolls out, fires in the end zone. Touchdown, Mullaney again. One score game. the throw by Jay Coker here. Kelly still has it. Fires far side. Catch is made and breaking free on the far side is DeMore Stringfellow. It could just about do it. Alabama went all in on this series to get the football back. They bring some pressure. Kelly delivers. Almost intercepted by Minka Fitzpatrick as Treadwell fell down. Fourth down in the quarterback position in his end zone scrambles out Coker has plenty of running room this goes against the scouting report 26 yard gain Coker loops it downfield underthrown and intercepted by Tony Bridges and that as Coker hits the deck after the throw could do it Kelly keeps it, gets the edge, gets a first down, gets across the 45, and a flag comes out. Personal foul, face mask, okay. number five, defense, 15-yard penalty. Walton again, squirts free, dives forward down near the 30. If that's a first down. That will be the last nail for Ole Miss. Make a stop here. Give the offense one desperation chance. Ligon straight ahead. Not going to get it. And they're running in short of the 30 yard line, so the clock stops. Rebels will rush three. Coker fires near side to Howard. They pick up. No, now they really didn't complete. He did not have possession. One philosophy would be try to make a throw long enough to get up and spike it so you could reach the end zone with a Hail Mary. Coker delivers a low throw. It's incomplete. I've seen BYU beat Nebraska this year in the last play Hail Mary. Coker delivers over the middle and that's dropped. Just took his eye off the ball. Coker heaves it, and it's incomplete, and that'll do it. Unconventional long touchdown passes, to say the least. So the Rebels shake up the season in week three, 43-37. Interviews, post-game recover coverage and reaction coming up on SportsCenter as we head right back to the studio now.